Hi, Andrew here, and uh, I've had a bit of a setback. I talked about how I wrenched my back this weekend and how uh, I spent ooh, three days of bed rest and how that kind of knocked me for a loop on trying to get other things done, anything done, but that by Tuesday I was 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 starting to recover and, and so Tuesday I took a walk and Wednesday I took a walk and here we are Thursday as of this recording and I've had a very serious setback and I don't know what caused it. I woke up and it, my back felt like it did several days ago. Um, not a big deal. I mean, I've, I've functioned with, with, with pain before, but it got really bad. Uh, how bad? Around lunchtime, I was nauseous and, um, I, I, only did a half day in the office because I had I was on a uh, kid pickup from school so I came home and I was going to go outside for a bit just sit in the backyard and I started to get the sweats I was nauseous and sweating from the pain now any of you who have had serious pain uh <laughs> I had kidney stones 20 years ago, and that pain was so bad, I was in convulsions and I was dry heaving. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't try to have breakfast that morning, or I'd have been barfing at the side of the road as wifey was taking me to the hospital. Uh, so the pain wasn't quite that bad, but seriously, nausea and sweats, well, that's the precursor to vomiting and convulsions, so the pain was really freaking bad. But it didn't feel that bad. I had all the symptoms of level eight on a 10 scale pain, level seven or eight pain, but it felt like I was at four or five. Pain and I are old friends, uh, or maybe we're old frenemies. I'm, I have a very high tolerance for pain. Uh, I don't know if it's attached to my psychological difficulties. Uh, I am in so much mental pain so much of the time. Physical pain doesn't bother me. Or maybe that's what it is, that because of uh, so much mental health pain, uh, physical pain is a distraction. It's feeling something. Uh, I can remember a time... 15 or more years ago. This was pre-children, so it was, well, it was more than 16 years ago then. My oldest turned 16 in a few months. Uh, 16, 18 years ago, I was sitting in a Tim Hortons. I'm Canadian, sue me. I was sitting in a Tim Hortons in the depths. I hadn't thought about this for a while, but this was this had to have been one of my, uh, my crises. And I didn't have a book with me. I didn't, wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting there and it was bad. I was banging my head against the brick wall. I was bleeding and it didn't hurt. And I've thought about it and physical pain does distract me from the mental pain. And maybe that's why I've developed such a tolerance for pain. Like I passed a kidney stone standing in the shower in Cowtown, Southern China without ever contacting uh, medical authority because there was no bloody way I was going to the hospital <laughs> in Cowtown, Southern China, uh, where, you know, there were 10 English speaking foreigners in the entire town. Uh, and I, and, and I actually didn't, I mean, I felt terrible pain as I was showering that uh, one night and the next day I was, I was peeing blood and I realized I, I passed a kidney stone. And I went to work the next day again. And I mean, and that's 2005. So that's uh, 18 years ago. Um, Payne and I are old friends, but the level of pain that I, I, I got into today was bad enough to make me nauseous and sweaty and yet didn't feel that bad. Like I say, maybe the two, maybe my tolerance for physical pain comes from 
seeking it. Uh, I've talked about delayed onset muscle soreness, the pain of sore muscles after a hard workout, and I enjoy that. And maybe that's it. Maybe because I seek that out, uh, exercise as therapy for my mental health problems, uh, leads to the pain of recovery, which is has become a pleasure uh, that my perspective on pain is different from the norm. Food for thought, anyway. Thanks for watching. That was my time. That was your time. And in the meantime, take care and don't fall in love with your pain. And you'll see me soon.